guys, welcome to another episode. I just got my new work, uh, work laptop, uh, a Microsoft Surface Pro 4, and I wanted to get it a uh, kind of a travel bag, something to protect it, kind of a sleeve bag, so that sort of thing. So instead of going out and buying the case, I uh, I just made my own. So this uh, this is a sleeve that we'll be seeing this episode. So I hope you guys nine, enjoy. Twelve inch by nine inch, and then. I was looking around Pinterest uh, for leather bags, uh, leather laptop bags. It's basically a tablet. It's really small. Uh, so I was looking for leather tablets on Pinterest. It's just an amazing place for brainstorming, looking for ideas, looking for pictures on uh, different types of stitches and, and, and uh, different models and techniques of uh, leather working. So leather tablet bag or leather tablet case brought me a slew of ideas of, of different ways and I eventually found a fell onto uh, one that actually had wood on their side. So they basically just took a loop of leather with me with uh, two pieces of wood on either side and they screwed it in. And it looked great. It was actually a bag, for, I think it would be put on a on horseback or something like that. But still, the and it was very, very simple wood. I think it was like pine. It was just a, just a block of solid square wood. But the concept struck me as perfect because I wanted something I wanted the bag to be it be nicely spaced. If you just put two pieces of leather together, uh, the leather's gonna be flat until you actually put something in it. Uh, so, I was, uh, and there's all kinds of techniques and ways to make it to give your bag volume and weight. But to uh, I since I do woodworking, as you can see, for those of you that are first viewers, I do plenty of woodworking in my projects. It's the uh, I, I it just struck me as a really great idea to mix wood into the bag as uh, not only aesthetic but also practical and filler and it'll give some ro robustness and weight to the, the this small slim bag so you'll see how that evolves I have my ideas uh, so the next part of the of the next step basically is selecting what type of uh, leather I have two leather uh, rolls here that I've been <clears throat> that I have in the shop one that is uh, a pre-oiled this is an oiled cloth that is very, very rustic. Uh, it, it scratches up nicely. I don't know if you can see that. It's like it takes the mark, so it kind of just looks very rugged, so that can be kind of uh, wiped out, uh, wiped off. If you put in the oil, that kind of goes away. And uh, so that's one piece of leather. So the advantages of this uh, is the fact that it's pre oiled. So it will be weather resistant, which is good for a bag that I'm going to be carrying around with me all over the place. And I have this other, both of them are, are um, <laughs> cow skin, <laughs> cow skin. Um, so uh, this one is a lot shinier and uh, is, I find it more, more of a finished look, though it does have a texture. I'm not sure if that comes out uh, from the screen that I see. I don't, I don't always see the, all the detail, but um, so this is a very textured leather, whereas this is very, very smooth, okay? So they both have their advantages. This is one of the projects we had done earlier, which was a, uh, a sheath for the one of my tomahawks. So this, then that was actually the darker leather right there. So it makes a nice, solid uh, quality sheath. And it does look nice, so it's kind of funny. One from one day doing a tomahawk sheath to a uh, something is <laughs> it's completely different anyways uh, and that's actually the same lace as this one and this is this lace is actually just oiled so nicely tight um, that's just give you the idea of what it looks like finished
Look at your mama. La poche est finie. <coughs> Celle-là, là. Hein? Fais une poche. On peut cacher des choses. So, I was trying to think of how to get the, how to fasten the flap for the, uh, the laptop bag. And I had an epiphany. I'll give you a hint. It will work with the pen. From the service pro we'll start with this nice square six and a half inch length it will modify it with this and the sander with 
And you guys will have to wait and see the what I'll use it for. Or how it'll be used, I guess. The morning. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. Just dropped off the kids at daycare. And I work from home, eh? so some mornings I just don't feel like we're starting my day just yet. And I come out in the shop and I'll work on whatever project I have going. So um, the the case for uh, for my new for Surface Pro 4 it's coming along nicely. Um, I didn't really know, as I said at the beginning, or uh, whether or not I cut that part out, but uh, I didn't. My projects always kind of evolve as uh, as they progress. And I started out with the the idea of an actual satchel with the the handle and my, maybe even a shoulder strap. And as I went, um, seeing how this is a very small, it's basically a tablet with a, just an attachable keyboard. Uh, it, it's it, it's become more of a sleeve than anything else. So it'll it, this is the final size. It's very very small. Uh, I won't put a handle on it. Uh, we do have uh, this attachment which is still kind of a, a surprise to see how that will work. So this morning though, sorry about the roll, so I'll be attaching uh, this, the first, um, well this to the case this morning. So I want to sand off whatever glue there. Uh, so basically this is the first time that I'm mixing wood and leather together. It's uh, an experiment and uh, it'll be fun to see how, uh, how well that works. So in order to to uh, to adhere uh, the wood on the sides, this is going to be like this. So I want to I want to hold back to the last possible minute to hook up these sides because once these sides are in, uh, like it's going to be hard to like to, to do any sewing or attach anything to the to the back of this, right? And I still have a loop to do here which is going to come through this way and the pen is actually going to, to lock the cover in place so it might not be really clear at this point uh, from your perspective but uh, it's very clear in my head <laughs> it's the attempt that I'm doing hopefully it'll work out as, as neatly as, as I'm as it seems in my head so Hopefully I don't have any runoff. It seems pretty darn thin. I just just covered the grain, and I want it about in the middle. Right, that's placed. Okay. I think should be okay. Hopefully, yeah. The last piece be okay. that for the puzzle here is a loop that'll be attached to the front. That'll come through like this. It'll be a little tighter than that, but basically, uh, once you close it, in order to close it, the pen would tightly be inserted this way. So this flap being on the underside would keep the flat, the top flap from opening up so that would be the closing mechanism. So if everything works out, uh, this this section is quite tight. I can't even move I can't even move this uh, dowel here that's kind of just holding the shape. So uh, if the pen is anywhere near, which I think it's pretty much the same diameter as that dowel. So if that's there, the pen will go inside and it's also the pen also has a kind of a pocket, you know those uh, little clips you put it in your pocket so that should go over that too and offer more support so that it doesn't pop out so that was my thought it, it should be pretty neat um, so the next step what I'm doing right now is just attaching this strip right now that's not even attached it's just inserted in uh, so I'm going to get this out I'm going to use just these uh, little uh, uh, rivets to 
uh, to attach it. Instead of sewing it, I'll just gonna put a rivet. So, I'm using a two-part epoxy to stick the leather onto the, uh, the side boards, whatever, side sticks. And I'm also going to be reinforcing the leather with these half-inch uh, antique, uh, I think they're brass. Yeah, antique brass. So the, the color should match nicely with uh, uh, with the rest of the of leather. At the same time, I really want to spread it as Oops. there. Okay, that's pretty perfect there. Let's put the screw in. Alright, so this is the uh, the end result. Uh, we made this little nice little uh, locking mechanism for the Surface Pen that just comes out. The Surface Pro Pen uh, slides out. This one here actually controls the the flap. So as soon as the pen goes in, it slides into both of those and then locks it in. So in here we have uh, nice. Uh, little front pockets. Uh, the only thing I'll be putting in here is the uh, uh, the cables for uh, the charger, and then the laptop itself slides out nicely. It fits nice and slug, snug, and uh, that's all it is. Very simple, nice and thin. Uh, it gets a little bulky with the with the charger. Uh, but I mean it's as thin as it can be I could have used thinner leather too it's very bulky that's what I had in the shop so uh, anyways all, all in all I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with this it makes it for a very original case with the uh, with the wood uh, uh, accentuating uh, whatever the, with the wood aesthetics so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video it was a little offbeat uh, being for uh, <laughs> for my work but uh, Still leather leather working and different different techniques and stuff. So, see you guys next time. As usual, like and subscribe if you like the content and uh, leave uh, comments and questions uh, as you will. Later, guys.